Have you made some good friends at Cherokee Creek so far? Um, everybody at Cherokee Creek's my friend. Cherokee Creek is a therapeutic boarding school in Westminster, South Carolina. We're kind of nestled at the foothills of the Blue Ridge Mountains, and we specialize in um, middle school age boys um, who come to us with a variety of different issues, things ranging from school refusal to traumatic incidences. Um, we have kids who struggle with ADHD. We have some children at school who um, are also somewhere on the spectrum. Um, so who may be diagnosed with high-functioning autism or Asperger's. One of the things we say about Cherokee Creek Boys School is it's the small school with a big heart. And that's more than just a slogan. Uh, the small school is because we've designed our school to have no more than 48 students maximum. Uh, we are prepared at this point in time to have 32 students and we're growing in that capacity. But the small nature is important. Boys need relationships. They need to have a small peer group that they can hang with. It's very important for us from the big heart aspect is that every member of our staff knows not only the name of each boy, but really knows each boy in a very intimate, uh, connected, relationship, mentor way. And we're a big family. Cherokee Creek is, you know, you've got outdoors, which is really big for males. People don't realize when males are sitting in rooms all day that, that part of their souls are not developing. And, and it actually part of their success won't develop because they really need some nature. And any boy, for instance, who's at risk or is having problems, he can already he can find a lot of healing in nature, and people can nurture him through nature. So it's just a great asset. It's who we are. We're from nature. So just that in itself is incredible. And then uh, Cherokee Creek has so much male mentoring, which is very important. Uh, and that's something that boys need more of than they realize or their parents realize. And especially any boy who's having any sorts of issues, males are going to be very helpful. So you put males and nature together, you're getting something that's going to be quite quite beautiful and a structure that's going to be quite beautiful. I've been at Cherokee Creek for about five months now. I enjoy playing outside with my friends, playing basketball and stuff. I've been at Cherokee Creek for about a year and a half. My favorite activity at Cherokee Creek is probably the treks. I've been her here for over two months. My favorite class is math and science. My favorite staff member is Carla Shorts. If any parent is looking for, is, is my child, is my boy, you know, a fit for this, or what should I be looking for? Uh, I would say here are a few markers, possible markers. One, if your son is having trouble in the mainstream classroom, or a mainstream school, or, or whatever it is, the school he's in now, and he's having trouble, and you can see, or suspect, that there's some trouble, there's some mismatch between the way he learns and the way he operates, so cognitively and emotionally, the way he operates and the system he's in. If you see that, then look even closer. Do you see that there's some kind of a mismatch with the system and him as a boy and the mismatch between it, him as an individual? And at a certain point, because he's a boy, it's gonna coalesce into, huh, is this system fitting this boy, my boy, my son? And if the parents find n that no, it's not, that he's medicated, they, they medicated him to try to get the fist fit the system or uh, you know they did other in interventions the way the teacher said to do it but he's just still a mismatch and he's not getting the mentoring he needs then perhaps what happens is we as parents we're very protective we see that this boy is more vulnerable and fragile than we realized perhaps and we see that that system doesn't understand that fragility that vulnerability maybe that system sees him as angry but actually his anger is sometimes a mask for this vulnerability. So if we start seeing those mismatches and we start seeing that vulnerability, I think we as parents, you know, start looking at some place like Cherokee Creek and say, well, I want to check this out. Before Sam came to Cherokee Creek, he was uh, really struggling with major emotional and behavioral issues. Um, we had to pull him from school because um, the, he, he had medication issues, really, that uh, psychotropic drugs were causing him to be manic. Jacob was in public school and was having difficulties um, and there was some difficulties at home as well. Uh, very smart kid and a lot of energy and a good sense of humor but just not really making it in, in a public school setting. Um, and as that situation deteriorated uh, we began looking for alternative schools and schools that could really address the specific 
you know, struggles that Jacob was having. The thing that I would tell other parents who are considering sending their child to Cherokee Creek is that it is a small, safe environment um, that is really nurturing and I really trust the people with my child and that's a huge thing for a mother to say. Most importantly, we felt like they weren't trying to sell us on the school. They were trying to make sure that it was the right place for our son John, which made us feel really good about the choice we were making. We really felt like it was a home away from home, that it was a second family for our son, and that has just been reaffirmed um, over and over again as we participate in the family seminars, as we participate in the family track, and get to know the staff uh, very well. Uh, we feel really good with the counselors and, and the therapists and the entire staff. Um, it's a loving staff and um, we know uh, we've made a great decision and would make the same decision today that we made a number of months ago. They understand what parents are going through when they have children that are struggling. And they, they meet you with that um, attitude at the front door. Uh, and they are comforting and reassuring and genuine in that concern. You'll be amazed when you come and visit the school how the boys seem genuinely happy. It really is a home away from home for these boys, um, certainly for our son. He has friends that he never had uh, when he was living at home. Uh, he's able to bond with children, with other adults, which was also a significant challenge for him. It's a family setting. They eat together, they discuss things together, they work things out together, and it's just been a wonderful experience for him and uh, a great benefit for our family as a whole. If their boy has emotional and behavioral issues that are significant, um, that they won't be disappointed. That the staff here will care for their son as if they were, as if he was their own son. Um, that it's real and um, that genuine caring matters a lot. You know, you're leaving your son, you, you love him. And uh, the concept of of leaving them with somebody else for for a number of months um, is is incredibly difficult decision. And um, so I would tell them they can at least be comfortable that here he'll be loved. And there's really nothing more important than that. What are the feelings that you get when you first walk in the door? Because um, that's what your son's going to live with every day. Does it feel warm? Does it feel inviting? Are the people there giving high fives and hugs? Because kids at this age need that. Kids who have not been successful need that. He is a different child. He's a happier child. He's uh, a young man, you know, and he's, um, he's succeeding. Um, and that warms your heart. I mean, I, it's, uh, it's a really a fairly incredible transformation. I think the most rewarding thing about being a member of the Cherokee Creek staff is the moment at graduation where the boy crosses over the bridge um, and rejoins his family. And it's seeing how much work that has gone into getting to that point. Um, not just with the boy, but with his family too. I think that we do a really good job of our family work. And that is what's so rewarding about being a staff member here, is getting to see the change and getting to see how much um, it's gonna impact that family forever. I mean, the course of their life has changed. 11 to 15 middle school boys, uh, darling, rough and tumble, those are our kids.